Hey guys, this is a demo of my uh, pedal board. Um, just going through a, a single amp. I usually uh, do a stereo setup um, with my G Lab GSC5. This is a very flexible, versatile pedal board. Um, foot switcher, um, loop, MIDI controller. Um, it it just controls everything on my pedal board from um, controlling the channel on my amps. Um, this is just a single channel amp. I'm just using this for because I'm too lazy to uh, hold in the uh, big stuff in here. Um, but I use this to um, switch my amp channels, um, pull in different kinds of effects and patches from my uh, MIDI capable effects like the Eventide uh, H9 and the time, uh, Strand and Timeline Delay and um, act also uh, control the uh, ecstasy pedals I have over here. They have a remote switching that you can turn on the boost on and off um, just using the switches and not having to use that one as well. So it's all integrated in here in the uh, GSC5 uh, guitar system controller. Um, I love this a lot. You can change the colors of the uh, lights on here. Uh, it has a keyboard that comes with it so you can um, program the names or type in the names of your patches um, or um, I don't use it uh, because it, it's, uh, what do you call this, I've gotten so used to just doing it on here. It's got the ABC layout over here so you can you can actually name it really fast. Um, so I am going through, like I said, I'm just using one amp. I usually use my uh, my Matchless DC30 and another Mesa Boogie uh, amplifier or a Hughes and Kettner. Uh, I mix I I mix them up. So, anyways, um, you can have like song banks or just plain banks. Um, or a concert uh, bank on here if if you want to but I usually um, just um, patch in um, like 10 presets for, for well it has 10 presets per bank and I just have my I, I, I use like five five banks so that's 50 presets but you know all, some of the presets are, are, are kind of redundant depending on the song so I just do that Anyways, enough talk, so uh, I'll show you what you can do. Oh, by the way, this also opens up, and what's under here, under the hood, is um, more space for your pedals. So I, I used to have a huge pedal board, you know, with a full MIDI uh, switcher only, without the loops. But with this one, I can put some of the uh, pedals here. So I have the uh, Keely compressor here, the BB the BB, uh, BB preamp, BB comp, um, the, EB, the EP booster by Exotic, and I am using um, the PB2 power supply by G Lab, and the PB1 as well. The PB1 powers all my, um, um, what do you call this, um, high wattage um, effects like the Strymon Timeline and the Eventide H9 as well. So, um, that's that. I have my handy dandy screwdriver and flashlight just in case and a string cutter under here. Um, and I also have the humdinger as well by the gig rig. Um, I can have an isolated output and a buffered output and it will let me go stereo as well with this setup. Under this, under the pedal board, which is a, this is a trailer trash pedal board um, it has all the, um, the loops where you plug in all the effects in there. I'm not, I'm not using any of the foot switches over here on my pedals. I just use mainly this so I don't tap dance. And I am using my wah pad here. Um, so whenever I step on the wah, it'll turn on the loop where it's connected. And so I don't have to click on and off. Um, all my effects are on all the time. Um, and when I just step in the wall, it'll just 
bring in the wah within within my sound or within my preset, and um, I step off and it turns it off. So uh, here we go. Here's a clean sound. I have a clean short delay. I have a clean long delay. on the um, TC Trinity Reverb on and the timeline on as well. Uh, I turned down the volume because um, it might click. I'm just using an iPad right now for um, to record this. This is my shimmer sound. Shimmer sound, so I I used the uh, Eventide shimmer effect on it on a patch, so I just named it Shimmer, and then um, wait a bit, my phone is ringing. There you go, and um, here's my swell patch. timeline on this one for the swell. It has a swell feature. I named my uh, pedals on here, so when I press like the loops on here, it shows me um, the four is what's on here. It's got a number, uh, the A loops from the loops one to six. Number four is exotic, BB is on, so meaning this pedal right here is on. So. So I have the ecstasy timeline on and the uh, what do you call this? The Trinity on. <laughs> Patch 
9, I have a crunch long delay, so I have a long delay on my timeline, and I'm still using the ecstasy on here. So. So whatever patch I'm on, whenever I, I step on the wah, it'll, it'll just blend right in. Or it'll pull in the wah sound. On it. So this is the clean one. sound I step off and it's off show you uh, how to uh, do some programming in a little bit. I'll, I'll bring in the iPad in here and it closer. So that's pretty much it. Um, these outputs right here, uh, I can do the stereo. There's also three other outputs like this over here. This is a trailer trash pedal board. Um, and I got the uh, flat case. Um, but if I'm just patching the amp out to the uh, scent right now because I'm not using it. Um, I'm, I'm using it. I'm using it all in front of the amp. But I normally this one's normally over here because it goes to the amp and this goes to the effects loop over here. So to the scent and the return on the effects loop. So it gives me that versatility. So I have all my uh, overdrive and distortion. Uh, pedals um, in front of the amp and my modulation and reverb pedals are uh, on the effects loop. So that's pretty much it. I will have a cold so bring in let me get this down over here. I'm going to edit this video later, but for now, this will have to do. If you could see that,
There you go. Sorry about that. Try to put them out here. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. It says crunch delay. This one is a clean. I step on this and it's going to go straight to my tuner, which is a poly tuner over here from TC Electronics. And um, I can tune simultaneously. I'm out of tune right now because I, got, I was just in tune. There you go. Okay. Just resting on the tremolo bar. But, um, so, and to get out, I just press a, uh, a preset, and this is a different bank, so I can have the solo in. So take note um, on the crunch on my ecstasy pedal, right there, whenever I press this patch over here, it turns on the boost, so I don't have to press the boost over here which is kind of far from my foot so um, I just click that or if I go to patch on the bogner so that turns it on over there on my bogner bogner pedal um, there you go okay so over here, these are like the different loops over here, A, B, C. For each loop, uh, what do you call this? Um, like for loop A, uh, we have six loops. So right now, if I press this loop, I have the wah on loop one on the A, the, the compressor, the Kila compressor right here, okay? And two, loop two, the Kili blue, Loop three, so I named them. See, it says blue, and then it, um, it'll, it'll tell you what's on. So right now, on the preset, what's on is the red, which is the uh, ecstasy red, um, which is on. All the other stuff are all off. See, but if I press on, well, it won't say. It. Um, and also, you have also have a choice of uh, turning the buffer on for the A um, strip loop. Okay, and then if I go to loop B. What I have is the EP boost is on 6. I use that as the booster, which is the last on my chain. I don't have the C loops because it's a lot for me. And uh, plus, I don't need that many pedals. So I just have two loopers um, from the back. So I have six input loops for all my effects total. Um, so the B, let's go back. B1, I don't have anything on there on the B2. I use that for extras just in case I want to add more effects. The H9 uh, is on um, the third loop on the B strip and the fourth loop is the timeline. So that means to say that on this preset my H9 is on, my timeline is off, and my Trinity Reverb is on. Um, and the C is blank so there's nothing on the C. But the B it says bu buffer B is off as well. But I can turn it on. But I already have a buffer here as well. This is a buffered uh, output as well. Okay, so I don't need two buffers on right now. Um, but you have that option of having buffered A turn on and buffered buffer B turn on. And um, oh, so I'm just gonna hit escape. I can just easily copy a preset. Or copy a bank. For example, um, I want to I want to copy this bank right here, which has clean chorus, the crunch, crunch the solo. So I, all I have to do is go like this: copy bank, and it'll ask me go to bank, copy bank one to which bank? Let's say bank 15, and I just press enter and voila so that's bank 15 you have the um, the bank which I named it go to it's my go to presets okay 
but you can name it whatever you want. It has a keyboard input here and you can lock this just in case you have a dog or a cat or a kid who wants to mess up with your stuff that you can lock it and then you can program it, program it. But right now it's unlocked. And there's a keyboard and there's a USB, two USB ports over here. Um, also, um, if I want to copy a preset, it's the same thing. I just press it and it'll ask me which preset to copy. Uh, copy preset number 10, uh, back 10, 15, 15 uh, copy preset 10 from back 15 to which bank and which preset number. So you can just choose that one by you know, choosing this. But if you want to cancel it, then just hit escape really really easy and the switch uh, the, see on the uh, I have the uh, switch 6 as to and switch 5 if I if I plug in a, a stereo keep a stereo cable over here um, to my app it'll change the preset and um, if I do the blue boost right now it's off so if I click on this one and then it will turn it on on my preset next time I when I get out of this um, edit mode so I had red boost off so I have a mono cable attached here to the back of the controller and it will turn on the switch on and off for me save changes so I hit escape no um, program change so right now let's see um, if I wanna do the The sh for example, the shimmer right here. I'm gonna go to program change, and I named my devices. My device one is the H9 for media purposes. Device one is H9. Device two is the timeline, and then on this preset, it says the program change number nine. So it will go to preset nine on here. Okay, program change ten. It will go to preset ten on here. Okay, and so if you have a device, a third device, then you can, you know, do a program change. But it's just so easy. So if I want to do the timeline, program 10, I just hit that one for program change, and I'll just um, choose a preset on my timeline. Let's say preset 7, for example, right there, and I store it, and it will store it on that preset. So you, you can do program changes uh, with with uh, quite a few, uh, what do I call this, MIDI devices. Save changes, so I'm going to hit now because then it's going to change my preset. Okay, and I'm, gonna, I'm out of there. So that's that. Um, then I will show you what is under the hood here. Uh, I've shown you this already. Um, this goes to the wah pad and it's got four expression pedals. Expression pedal one, two, three, and four. Right now, I'm not using one because I don't have a space. If, uh, if I ever go back to using a big pedal board, a huge one, then I'll do that. Um, I also have the capability of changing this one um, and putting a uh, expression pedal. Uh, I have some holes there to accommodate um, an expression pedal. Uh, what do you call this um, connection? So I just plug in here and plug it over there and so I just switch it and I just switch my pedals as well sometimes I use a fuzz then I just take out the BB preamp and put a fuzz in there so that is pretty much it for that <coughs> and oh uh, by the way it d also does control changes and I'm going to show you what's under the hood on here Sure. So, if you see that, all of those things, this I have two strips for the loop. Okay? So, these are for the A loops. All my effects, all my distortion effects and overdrive effects are plugged in here. For the B loops, all my reverb modulation and time base effects are plugged in there like the reverb, the timeline, and the eventide H9 so plug for the switches for the um, it goes to the uh, other side where there's nothing plugged here for my amp um, switching channel and then these are plugged into the uh, ecstasy 
pedals over here um, to control remotely control the boost on and off so that's that and the MIDI out is right here so it goes to the uh, MIDI inputs of my uh, H9 and the uh, Strymon timeline alright so <clears throat> these are all protected as well and I have to do a cutout for the uh, <clears throat> for the um, time, um, GSC5 so it will lie flat, kind of flat um, close to uh, here we go to uh, my pedal board right here so I had to cut that part right here and it fits right in so it's flushed alright so like I said the stereo over here and I'll show you some patches here I'm gonna change again oh by the way if I go if I press these two that's a concert it's empty because I don't have you can do a concert list if you do different different concerts then you can have your own uh, bank for that Concert B, Concert C, Tuner, and getting out. It's a tuner mode. There you go. Back to my presets. So I'm going to go to this preset, uh, which is a bank, oh, uh, bank 4. I have my octave presets on here. I have the grit here, so it's, it turns on my BB preamp pedal. It turns on my even tide and my timeline because uh, I put in a short delay on there. Or my long delay. solo um, well I turned it off the boost but that is pretty much it I can do a phaser sound which turns on the phaser on the eventide
There's a tremolo. folks I will post a video soon um, thanks again this review is for the GSC 5 it's our system controller and have a good one all right any questions just send me a message uh, I hope to answer you as best as I can oh by the way the app that I'm using is a uh, Fender uh, Humboldt version 2 uh, from ProGuitarShop.com so alright